Okay, so it's 6 in the morning, and we're all up, getting ready for another work day. The sun is just coming up over there. This is Greenwell Springs Baptist Church, and I'm heading over to the shower trailer to grab a shower. It's a little brisk this morning. So this is the uh, Samaritan's Purse shower truck. This thing's really cool. It's big, three axle. It's got seven shower stalls, and then the eighth shower stall is actually a uh, laundry facility. So the, here's what they look like. You have your own little sink, and then a full shower. And the best part is Lots of water and lots of hot water. Okay, my turn to get clean. Okay, so all showered and clean and ready to head over for breakfast. I thought I'd show you where we are here. So we're urban boondocking basically although we do have power we were able to get a 50 amp hookup so we have power no water and sewer but uh, I wrapped that in a plastic bag so I have 50 amp connections we're only 30 amp so um, I have a converter you get from Walmart it's like seven bucks and then I just wrapped that in plastic because the day I was doing it it was starting to rain and just thought the connection would be better wrapped in plastic so having power is really great you don't have to worry about your batteries running down you can use electric heaters inside but uh, we just use the shower trailers that Samaritan's Purse supplies, so we don't really have to worry about uh, water. And then there are bathrooms on the facility too, so we had empty tanks when we started, and now uh, they're just about full, so perfect, perfect timing for a work week. A great little spot, really quiet here. All right, got to head over for breakfast and a little devotion. So here are the work trucks from uh, Samaritan's Purse. All set up and ready to go here. Head out in a little bit. There's four trucks and four trailers. We're actually working on four properties. I think they're actually working on six or eight properties. But then they rotate around, you know, because things need to dry and paint needs to dry and they're waiting on parts and things like that. But nice brand new 3500 Chevys with some uh, a fifth wheel trailer fully set up fully all the parts and tools and things that you could possibly need really great setup kind of mobile workshops and there actually is a couple other trucks here but I think they've already gone out this morning to get supplies there's a couple other uh, some Fords and some smaller Chevys but they're already headed out and then you can see us way over there it's kind of hard to see it's a big parking lot here at uh, Greenwell Springs Baptist Church so they let us use this most of this parking lot but the only thing we really have to do is on Sundays on the weekends is move into the back so that uh, the people the congregation can use these parking spots oh there's a rooster and there's the church
or the back of the church at least. So there's the shower trailer again. You can see a little better now that the light's coming up. And then that's the uh, education building, which we're normally with Sunday schools held there. But Samaritan's Purse has taken over a good portion of that, and that's what they're using for the dorms because not everybody has an RV. And then we do uh, breakfast, lunch, or breakfast and dinner in the gymnasium here. That's where I'm headed. It's really nice to have this whole facility here. This is called a, a host church or a lighthouse church that they allow Samaritan's Purse to come in during disasters and set up everything that's needed. We are packing our lunch. We can do peanut butter and jelly or turkey and ham sandwiches. And then you pick all your goodies there. Put them in a bag with your name on them. Tape them up. And you're ready for the work site. So this is one of the homes that's being uh, worked on by Samaritan's Purse here in Baton Rouge after the floods earlier this year. So this house had pretty extensive damage. So they've ended up ripping out almost everything, all the drywall, all the flooring. And you can actually see, it's hard to see, but there's a little mark right here that that's where the water line was. So that's about three feet of water. You can see it over there too. So that's how much water was here, which is really amazing when you think about how, here's the street here, and every house in this block had the same problem. And you can see many of the other ones are doing the same thing, getting interiors gutted out and put out. But that's a tremendous amount of water. That means in the middle of the street here, as it slopes down, there was probably five feet of water. And this whole neighborhood was hit. Can you this? Yeah, no, go ahead. So where's the other, do I have another tray of mud in there? Oh, I think I stole one. So is there no, is there another one in there? Yeah, okay. Is this yours, Dave? What's that? Is your tray of mud here? No, I got mine right here. Okay, I'm owning it. It's mine. It's Come on, stand back. So I just did this one little section here. I don't think I did as good a job as actually you were doing, so. 